The overall goal of this experiment is to use a novel, controlled-release chlorine dioxide product to reduce the risk of foodborne illness and food spoilage and extend the shelf life of fresh fruit. This method can help answer key questions in the agricultural post-harvest field about the preservation of fresh fruits and vegetables. The main advantage of this technique is that the release dosage and the chlorine dioxide treatment duration can be controlled throughout the entire storage and handling of the packaged produce. Though this method can provide insight into the controlled release of antimicrobial agents for produce preservation, it can also be applied to other systems, such as water sanitization and deodorization. Before beginning the procedure, attach the chlorine dioxide pouch to the lid of the glass chamber with double-sided tape and seal the chamber with petroleum jelly. Connect the inlet and outlet of a chlorine dioxide gas detector to the chamber and switch on the inlet and outlet gas flow. Then, measure the chlorine dioxide concentration in the chamber at the indicated time points and monitor the temperature and relative humidity with temperature and relative humidity data loggers. Next, revive the E. coli by thawing the frozen bacterial stock and plate the suspension on E. coli auger for a 24-hour incubation at 35 degrees Celsius. The next day, reculture the organisms on a new plate for a 24-hour, 35 degrees Celsius incubation. Then, streak a colony onto a Levine Eosin Methylene Blue auger plate for another 24 hours at 35 degrees Celsius. Cultures that turn a reflective metallic green are positive for E. coli.